Hello everyone, hope you are loading well. So in this video, we will discuss the first problem of lead code by weekly contest 94. It's an easy level problem, but the problem statement has made it relatively tough. Uh, you can see that the total number of submissions are above 22,000, but just uh, even less than 7,000 uh, have been accepted. So let's see what the problem is trying to say. Okay, so the problem name is maximum enemy forts that can be captured. So the problem statement says that you are given a zero indexed integer array forts of length n representing the positions of several forts okay and what are the three values that forts can have it can be minus one zero or one okay so minus one represent that there is no fort at the ith position zero indicates that there is an enemy fort at the ith position and one indicates that the this the fort at the ith position is under my command okay so this one is mine this is enemy this is empty simple now now you have decided to move your army from one of your forts at position i to an empty position j such that now see what are the conditions i comma j should lie between 0 to n minus 1 meaning these should be valid indices okay so your valid indices are from 0 to n minus 1 right what is the other condition now this is the condition that is causing too many wrong answers it says that the army travels over enemy forts only okay it will not travel over empty forts formally all the k for, for all k where min of ij is lies between uh, so for all the k so when if the k will lie between min of ij and max of ij simple uh, and for all the k the forts of k should be zero okay what does this mean this means that you want to move from minus one to one okay because this is my fort and this is an empty fort okay and there can be zero there can be enemy forts between them right so whenever i move from one to minus one the only forts that should come in between should be the enemy forts it should not be like this that there is one minus one and there is minus one as well here so when you move from one to minus one only zero should be there in the middle that is what it is trying to say right simple this was the only thing that was causing too many wrong answers in the question right while moving the army all the enemy forts that come in your way are captured so return the maximum number of enemy forts that can be captured in case it is impossible to move your army or you do not have any fort under your command return zero right boundary conditions so as i told you in the explanation itself this is the critical line okay this is the critical line it says that when you are moving when you are moving from one point to another point or you are in short you you need to find the maximum distance between one and minus one right because it says that you want to move your fort from one of your positions to an empty position right so it could minus one and one can here be can can be here as well so you can move either in this direction or in this direction right now in the middle when you move now so you can only have enemy forts even if there is a single minus one or one here then this path is not valid okay so whatever path you choose see that there are only zeros in the middle okay so like this is one of the examples so it says that moving the army from position zero to three captures two enemy forts right because moving from zero to three, so this is zero this is three so just see in the middle all the forts are zero that means enemy forts so here you capture two forts what about the other possibilities moving the army from position eight to three so this is eight and this is three again see all our enemy forts one two three four so maximum four forts you can capture what about this one so in this just see the only only way you can move is just see since there is no enemy fort uh, since no enemy fort can be captured zero is returned because from one to minus one you don't have a zero you will not move right right what are the boundary conditions you can have some boundary conditions could be suppose 1 0 0 minus 1 okay and then 0 0 suppose 1 is there and then suppose minus 1 is there so what are the valid paths here this is a valid path so 2 will be a valid thing this is a valid path okay right suppose i have minus one here as well so this is not a valid part also this is also this is also not a valid part why because you can see you have other numbers as well in between right simple so what i have done here is 
I, I hope the problem statement is clear. Now the logic is pretty simple. You apply a brute force here. The brute force will be something like this. You you traverse your array as soon as you find a one. Okay. Suppose you find a one here. So what you will do? Consider that you are trying to move this fort. So what are the possibilities of moving this fort? Either you can move in this direction or in this direction. So what do you do? Suppose this is index i. So you start first you start moving in left direction check that what is the maximum distance you can travel what will be the condition that you have zeros and that ends at minus one calculate the distance here similarly move in this direction see that what are the what is the maximum distance you can travel zero zero and something like this right and keep updating your answer and then you are done okay and the time complexity will be again for every i so you have n n options n options for i right and similarly at max in every iteration you will move you will be moving x distance here and y distance here and what is x plus y that is n so n cross n let's look into the code okay so i i'm start i've started traversing if fort of i equals equals one that that means it's my fort i i can rearrange it so count equals to zero let's move in left direction so this is the logic for left direction this is the logic for right direction what i do just see i minus one to zero i i try moving I, I try moving in that direction now if fort of j equals zero count plus plus else you cannot do anything still you have certain conditions if the current fort is minus one so you update your answer and you break your loop because now you don't need to move in the left direction also if you find one in your path that zero is not there minus one is not there one is there just break the loop no need to do anything similarly update your count here now you will be moving in right direction so just see what i'm doing same same thing count will be incremented when four to zero in case of minus one update it in case of one just break the loop and finally return your answer okay so i would say the problem statement made is made it uh, a little bit tricky otherwise um, the logic stuff was not that tough okay so i hope you learned something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well if you find the content useful uh, in case of any queries mention that into the comments i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye, -bye.